So I used to be a model. Let's talk about it. A lot of you guys probably don't know, but I originally moved to New York City because I was scouted to be a model. I grew up always wanting to be a model, but I truly never thought it would happen to me. Like I did not think it was even in my bingo card. So when I eventually was scouted to be a model, it didn't feel real, but I wanted to do it more than anything. So of course I dropped everything and I moved to New York City. Part-time of course, because I had a life back in Minnesota. After I was scouted to be a model, the first job I ever did was Sports Illustrated Swimsuit, which is still insane to me because that was like my biggest goal. But I knew absolutely nothing about the modeling industry because nobody in my family had ever done it. And nobody even from my town had ever done it. So I went into it completely blind. I don't think anything could have truly prepared me for what the modeling industry was actually like. For example, I remember the first time I walked into my modeling agency in New York City. They had me come in, they took my pictures, and then they immediately started taking my measurements. It didn't seem like a big deal at the time, but I quickly learned that measurements would start to rule my life. They also asked me what my goals were, what my dreams were, and what the things that I wanted to accomplish as a model were. I had put together a little list of like American Eagle and Gap and maybe Victoria's Secret one day. I was really excited to share with them what I hoped to achieve. I remember my agent reading the list looking me in the eyes and saying, well, you're not pretty enough to do this, so we need to control expectation. I remember that statement like it was yesterday. And I totally get it. I was entering into a career where all that mattered was the way that I looked. And I was not ready for that. I don't think anyone can truly ever be ready for that. You're reminded of that day in and day out. I remember having panic attacks before I'd go to set because I'd have a breakout on my cheek. One time I was kicked off of a set because I had a breakout, which again, I totally get. I chose to be a model and of course, it's easier to photograph somebody with clear skin. But at the end of the day, models are still people. And I think a lot of the time the industry just forgets that. One time I went to this huge casting for a very popular brand. And at these huge castings, there are hundreds of models. Sometimes you're waiting there for four hours. I had waited there for like, maybe two and a half hours when they finally called my name. I walked in, they took pictures of me, and then I handed them my comp card. If you don't know what a comp card is, it's basically a photo of you with all of your measurements and all of your booking information so that if they end up choosing you, they know which agency to contact. The casting director took my comp card from me, looked me in the eyes and said, thank you so much and proceeded to throw my comp card in the garbage in front of me. And we pay for these comp cards, like our agencies bill us for these comp cards. It's basically like you giving somebody your number and they throw it away in the garbage right in front of you. It's still so crazy to think about because at that time, that was normal to me. Like I was so used to people just caring about what I looked like that I was like, oh, well, I guess I must be ugly. <laughs> and then we wonder why models get eating disorders and why everyone always feels like they need to be prettier or thinner or taller or all of these things. Because the modeling industry sets such unreal realistic expectations that even models don't match up to it. After a few years in the industry, I was just done. I had already started to develop an eating disorder. I was counting calories. I was over exercising. I was so mentally unwell that I kind of lost sight of what was important in life. And I remember when I started posting funny videos on TikTok, my modeling agency called me and told me to take them down. She said if I kept posting those things, it would make me nearly impossible to book as a model. Thankfully, for whatever reason, I had had enough. So I quit. I walked away from every single modeling agent I ever had. That's when I started posting funny videos on TikTok. And I have never been happier or healthier because you are so much more than the way that you look. And the second you stop caring so much about this, you start growing so much here and here. Because one day we're literally all gonna look like raisins anyway, so why are we so worried? The second you start focusing on who you are instead of what you look like, you will soar. So yeah. That is why I quit the modeling industry and why I'm so grateful for you guys. Because you guys gave me a platform that proves that personal connection with other people is so much more important than your reflection in a mirror. Bye guys.